Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another little vlog review. This time of the Scorpion episode, Single Point of Failure. This episode we get to learn more about Gallo, that he's not just this, I'm all business, all about the mission. And I knew there was going to be more depth to him from last episode, aka the pilot episode. And this episode we get to find out more about Gallo's heart. And we find out that he lost a daughter. He... You know, she just... died. And he couldn't do anything. And that hurts him every single fucking day, but he pushes that to the back of his mind. He doesn't let it affect him, and it seems that that might be why he's such a hard ass. Because he, he, that's how he deals with the pain. Is it the right way? That's just how he deals. It doesn't matter if it's the right or the wa wrong way. He does that. And I'm just glad that how it's revealed isn't him having a heart-to-heart -heart with our heroes because that would be really, you know, too cheesy. It's... They accident. long story short, they accidentally overhear him talking about it to the killer of this episode. So, yeah, it wasn't... Yeah, guys, I'm finally opening up to you. It's I'm opening up to the killer because I think maybe I can get to him because he's like me. And I like that it's you don't really have a clue about that until that reveal to the guy. Because that shows how deeply he has it buried, how focused he is on the mission. And I like that. You know, good job Robert Patrick. And if you don't know who Robert Patrick is, he played the T-1000 Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and I highly suggest you watch that movie. And during the last episode, the pilot episode, I remarked that, I can't remember if it was the vlog or when I was talking about the show to people, but I remarked that I like that Paige just isn't this no standard love interest where her whole purpose is to be a love interest and you don't really know why she's kept around but she just is so I'm glad Paige has something to do she helps the others deal with the world deal with each other she <laughs> and it's so great because here's all these geniuses and they can't do basic human interactions. Uh, as someone with Asperger's syndrome, I guess I don't really have room to talk. So, this episode she calms the math guy that can the human calculator, sorry I can't remember his name, and she calms him down as he's going through this biohazard place, and she also tries to help Walter, because this mission deeply affects Walter, because he, he had a sister that's suffering from something similar that the this the these children were made to suffer so she's trying to help him a little bit she accidentally finds out the information and she helps him it's just really really sweet i just like that she's just not love interest here i am and finally while this episode still like has these parts that aren't really believable. I read a board on IMDb where the science nerds were talking about the main 
read of this episode was, you know, targeting, you know, biohacking, where you can, like, spray some air into someone's face and have a virus to specifically target them. And the biohazard place being in an odd location. But it was a little more believable than last episode. Maybe it's because there was no, no the whole plane and car scene from last episode. You know, totally awesome. But yeah, we don't have that sense of not real. And I will say this about the show, it can be unrealistic, but the characters really bring it together. I'm sort of at the point where as long as they have really good characters, because the characters are awesome, I will keep watching the show week after week after week. Yeah, it's like people are complaining, oh, it's unrealistic. Yeah, it is. And they should have done the research more, but the characters, they're really good. Like, I, I find myself sort of tearing up a little bit. Just the characters, like, I don't care about the situations, I care about these characters. So, yeah. My final thoughts of the Scorpion episode, single point of failure. It's a good second episode, expanding more on both Walter and Gallo's past. So you find out more about them, you find out more about Gallo. It's just really, really good. And there's some fun moments. Well, there's this one fun moment where Paige, you know, is bringing her son in, you know, to the people and saying, I'm sorry, he's sick yet again. And then Walter's like, yeah, he's a little lying bastard. <laughs> it's, it's just awesome. And I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. If you go to my blog, you can see vlog reviews like this. My review, not review, <laughs> my bi-weekly podcast with Extra Happy. Second episode is up on my blog. Tomorrow... I'll be doing, uh, for my weekly podcast, Jash Talks, a review of Terminator 2 Judgment Day with Robert Patrick in it. <laughs> yeah. So that should be fun. I have a bunch of asshole friends who will definitely have fun with. I have one returning guest and then Omar's girlfriend so this should really really be interesting and if you go to my blog you can go to the sidebar thingy and see where else I am on the web and say hi and if you're watching this on YouTube go into the description you'll see a link to donate your account and if you donate your Twitter and or Facebook accounts to my campaign Thank you very much, and until next video, goodbye.